Hello everyone, today we're going to do a very short guide when it comes to rangers and their range and how that influences the way you position yourself as a ranger player. Now, rangers typically, first of all, they're in the meta, so I think that this is a um, good tutorial to actually post it right now. But when you play rangers, you, you probably feel like you don't really have a lot of um, positioning nuances that you would have to focus on. And I disagree, especially in current current metagame, where there's a lot of assassins and they don't have a lot of um, creatures on foot. There's a lot of positioning nuances that you can actually benefit from, but they're not so obvious as you think so. So first of all, let's talk about range. Range is something that each character has. And in example, an Ash has range of four hexes, Kindred of three hexes. The same, um, the same goes for Vayne, and Wild Virus has also four hexes. Now, the logic says... You put in the creatures with the longest range in the last row, while the creatures with the shorter range in the second row, so they have attack uh, range in the first place, right? And in most cases, this is correct. But what is very important is that you need to be aware that your creature will never move at the beginning of the round if they have someone else in range of their attack. So let's say, let's say that Vayne is sitting in this corner and she will stay in this corner if she will have someone in the, in the range of the hip three hexes. So in this case, it will be a creature here, a creature here, a creature here, here, and so on, right? And this is the moment when she will not move. So in this case, it's very important for you to be aware of the positioning of your opponents and try to counter that with your own positioning. Remember that all the melee characters have the same rule. So if your melee character with a range of one hex is starting next to someone, they will not move, right? So if someone is here in the first row, those creatures will remain uh, in those hexes. In this case, it's very important for you to be aware that the moment someone is in a range and that creature is not moving, she blocks the creatures behind you. As a ranger player, your main, um, your main goal is to remain in the uh, in the edge of the map, right? Typically, either right or left or, or left side. And for you to achieve that, you might do something that is counterintuitive. And in this case, we can actually put, let's say, our Asha is more important, so we're gonna put her in the back line. But the virus with range of four hexes can be put here in this spot, so he has someone in his range of four hexes at the beginning of the round. And he will block the creatures behind him for movement, right? Let's say, let's say you put the um, you put the Brahm or or the Mordekaiser here as well. So assassins will jump on him. So he will move like one one square. Uh, I mean, sorry, one hex uh, into a direction that w where the um, creature on foot is. Uh, while the assassins will jump and block other creatures, and you will remain in the corner, which is very important for you since. Creatures like, uh, creatures, like, <laughs> creatures, like, creatures like Kindred have to be positioned well so they don't get killed before the ult. So, let's say you play against a um, Void Assassin player and that Void Assassin player typically has one or two units on foot because they typically play six assassins in a full, full build and that one creature or two creatures on foot are Cho'Gat and Rek'Sai. And if he puts them uh, on the map, it's very important for you to be aware on which side they are on. It's, of course, very very hard to execute as well, because for him to change the positioning of, the, of his creatures is on two clicks, while you have to move your entire uh, composition. But what is important as well is that when you're aware of that, you're able to get a small, um, let's say, to get a small edge on your opponent. It's also very important to know that when you have a rapid-fire cannon, and it increases the range. You might also put it on a creature that doesn't, um, that doesn't, um, that won't start in the back row, but actually in the middle row, because then she, uh, that creature has the it has the range to the entire map. Now, let's talk about a little bit about the fire cannon. The fire cannon doubles the range, right? So if you, an example, double the range of a vein, which now has six hexes, from this spot, she will have range to every single hex on the map apart from one, which is the op exact opposite of Vayne. So if someone is starting, let's say, with the Void Assassins or with a 
uh, Draven in that hex, and he has the RFC as well. He will st he will remain in his own hex because he will have the range to Sejuani, which will be his first target. While Yovane, right, will not attack uh, that Draven at any point of the game if she still remains in this place, which is very important against Void Assassins. Right? If you play against voice, uh, Void Assassins and you put someone with 660 range, so three hexes, into this point, and your opponent has the only creature on foot, which is not an assassin, in the opposite side of the map, you will not have the range, and your creature will move and leave an empty hex uh, from the corner, which is a disaster against assassins. So in this case, what you might also do is you might put the creature with the RFC on the, uh, on the front line, or like the middle row, so when she has the range at the beginning of the fight, she will bro block the rest of the creatures, which is super important. Super important, and you. This is also a very thing, um, very important thing for Draven. When you have the RFC, you might actually start the game in this spot. If this is a Draven, right? Let's say you have a Blade Master composition or something like that, and you have the Draven here with the RFC, he will have the range to every single creature on the map. So. In many situations, um, let's let's say I'm gonna do it on the other side of the map. Wait, where's uh, where's 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 uh, Draven? Draven is here. I'm gonna put RFC on him, and from this spot, he will have uh, the range on every single creature on the map. And you might also end up putting a melee character in the corner here, whatever melee character, right? Your least important creature, so no one will jump behind him. Like, and not any single assassin. And that's about it. Important topics, but I feel like something that uh, a lot of people are missing or just not aware of. So I hope this helped you guys, and see you next time. Bye-bye.